So I know you guys have met before, right? But we don't have just a couple pet worms. This is a lot of worms that are going to do work for us. And as you know, the superpower of worms is eating. So we're going to have a whole lot of worms so they can eat a whole lot of food. So let's get them in there. And I know for sure they're hiding under here. And I know for sure they're hiding because worms are photophobic. Do you know what that word means? No. Photophobic means they're afraid of light. Photo refers to light. And phobic means they don't like it, they hate it, they're scared of it. So if you're photophobic, you're scared of light. Because if they're in the light, they're in the air, and if they're in the air, do you think they're going to dry out and die? Yeah. Yeah. So they want to stay wherever it's dark and cool and wet. So I know they're on the bottom of this pile. So, Miss Jordan? Yes. Um, put that on the other side of you, just so we can do this simultaneously. Oh, the, the, the they couldn't see over here. Oh, okay, got it. Never mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of I'll, scrape... Don't worry about it. Yep. Yeah, okay, we're going to kind of scrape away the top of this pile. And you know, I see a lot of little eggs in here. Do you see eggs? Plenty. Plenty. Oh, There's going to be so many babies oh, in this bin. Hey, grade two, it's very important to stay in your bumps so you, your parents can see you, okay? Yeah, that's right. Right. You guys are getting closer. You need to go back where you were. Don't worry, you all get a chance to see these worms up close and personal, I guarantee you. Now, we're seeing a lot of little egg capsules. I see a worm. Well, they're going down, down, down. As oh, I see worms. As they, as they feel the light on their skin, do you think they see the light or do they feel the light? Feel. Yeah. They feel. They don't have any eyes. So they're feeling the light on the skin. Just like when you step into the sun, you can feel the sun on your skin. That's what regular light feels like to them. So they're very sensitive to light. Oh. Whoa. So we know there's a bunch of worms in here. Now there's a pound of worms in here. I measured them out. I have eight ounces. And what does Miss Jordan have if I have eight ounces? And it's a pound? How many ounces and in a pound? 16 ounces in a pound. So we both have eight ounces, right? Okay, so we each have an eight ounce ball of composting worms. And we're taking away their cover. And they're getting into a tighter and tighter ball because they're trying to get away from the light. And there's nowhere to go because they hit against the ground and the green plastic thingy. And we're going to get them as tight as we can. That's Leo's white. That's a lot. Yeah. Now what we're going to do with all this stuff that we're putting in here is we're going to mix it into the bedding. That way it'll it'll taste familiar to them. Oh, whoa. Can I see how far you are? Okay, tighten up a little, round it, a, mound it a little bit more. Oh, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Mound it a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I've done this a thousand times. Miss Jordan told me that a few times, so I got to remind her because she's not as experienced as I am. Okay. Here's our big ball. So the best way to do this is to. to Roll it up from the bottom because the bottom's going to be. Whoa! It's because the worms kill the Okay. You guys ready to, to meet the ball of worms up yes. close and personal? Yeah. Yes. All right. Are we going to be able to hold them? Yes. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to hold them. Okay. If you would like to hold them, make your hand like a bowl, and we'll pass them around. No. Nope? Okay. Well, I got to get up. I'm an old person. It takes me a minute. Oh, ouch. Okay, I'm ready. Yay! <laughs> How do they feel? Do they tickle? Or do you feel all that energy? Yeah. Okay, pass them on. That's right, just open your hands, pass them on. So here you go. Okay, pass them on. Try not to dock the drop them. Oh, yeah. Oh my god! Turn around. 
around so you can see him. There you go. But you can't hurt them. That's okay. You don't have to mess with them, Miss Jordan. They will find their way down on their own. All right, new home. For me, new home.
This is a scale for measuring luggage at the airport. <laughs> it works really well for measuring buckets of food. So I have a bunch of food here, and I'm going to hook it and lift it. And you tell me how much I have. We'll use the outside number, not the inside. About 10 pounds. And when I let it down, the red arrow will go back, but the black arrow will tell me. About 10 pounds? I don't trust the black arrow. Okay. You guys want to take a look over here? Okay, so you just hold it away from your body and you lift it up and it'll tell you about 10 pounds. Y'all see that? So 10 pounds. About 10 pounds is what we're going to feed them today. And next Friday, we'll feed them another bucket full and it can be anywhere between 5 and 10 pounds. Okay, so let's take a look at what we picked for them for their first meal in their new bin. Let's look at what we got for worm food today. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Let's see what we have. We got some old banana peels. And then today, uh, this week at lunch, we have one of their favorite foods of all time, papaya. And apples, which I cut up. And of course, it's really nice when we get pineapple because it's already cut up. And there was some salad-y stuff. And I added a couple handfuls of rice. We don't want too much rice or bread, but a couple handfuls at the end of the week is a good thing to put in. Otherwise, doesn't that look delicious? No. <laughs> We're obviously not a worm. So would you consider not so delicious? The worm just is, decides is just great. So to use, to feed your worms, use this rule of thumb. If you say yuck, the worms say yuck. So anything you would not eat, like would you eat a banana peel? No. Yuck. Worms go, oh, banana. Would you eat a pineapple skin or a papaya skin? Yeah. No. No way. Would you eat a rotten apple that's gone all brown? Ew. 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 If I didn't have any food. To use to feed your worms, use this rule of thumb. If you say yum, the worms say yum. So they're going to eat anything that you don't or don't want. What you consider waste is, is food for somebody else. So look at that big pile of food. Do you think they can eat that in one week? Because the superpower of worms is eating. So, one pound of worms, 16 ounces, can eat a pound a day, can eat about seven pounds in a week. They'll have a little leftover, that's okay. That leftover is going to stimulate them to make babies. Because they're going to say, wow, there's not only enough food in here for us, there's some food for new ones. So we're going to make eggs and have babies. So your one pound of worms in about six weeks is going to be two pounds of worms. Whoa. And you're going to see this stuff disappear so fast and you may end up having to feed them more. But this is usually about right for one to two pounds of worms. Okay? Does that look like a whole bunch? Yeah. Does it look, if you were a worm, totally delicious? You can just see them squirming in there. You imagine you're a worm, pretend you're a worm. Ooh, that's so delicious. Oh, man. Oh, that's so gross. Sure, you want to feed them? Sure. Okay, it so I'm smells, gonna stick this back in the bucket. It smells really good. I can't, I can't smell hey, it. Can see it. So if Dad, you are, uh, we can look on the menu and see what they have for lunch that we know you're not gonna eat. But if you're a homeschool lunch person, a home lunch person, shh, do you sometimes bring bananas or cuties? Would you please say, okay, would, oh good. Would you please save all your peels for us? Okay, so banana peels and cutie peels from all those home lunches, we really need those. And then we know pretty much what was on the plate. Four or five days, see how much food gets eaten. Oh. Well, it's got to get real soft before they can eat it. So it's going to sit there and rot for a while. Uh. So we just put it right on top of the bed. Because they don't have any teeth or grinding mechanisms. All they have to do is already are suck it in. So it so has to turn it into like a slushy. It's got to turn into goo before yeah. they can eat it. So it's going to be goo and they'll start. you'll see them starting to work on it. And then as it goes to goo, bam, it's gone. So do you think they're going to come up and eat if they have to be exposed to light like this? Yes. Probably not. Which is why yesterday, who helped shred paper? I'm hey! Sure. <laughs> because we always put a nice thick layer of fluffy paper, this guy shredded for us, on top of the food. That's to give the worm some cover. It's also to keep the fruit flies from getting in, because you can bet the worms are not the only ones interested in this meal. 
there's flies that are attracted to this wonderful fruity sweet stuff. Oh, I've seen it. But a fruit fly wants to lay its eggs right on the food. They will not burrow through a barrier to lay their eggs. So if we keep our food completely covered with shredded paper, they might come around sniffing. But if they can't get in to touch it, they're going to buzz off. I then, nice spot. Hit it. So she's going to water it in. So we have it. Sorry. Paper on top. I need a bin blanket. Yeah, you do. So the bin blanket is very handy because when you water them during the week, which you're going to do every single day, you just water right on top of the bin blanket and it goes right through. So, so you've got your mattress, you've got your sheets, <laughs> you've got your pillow, and now you've got the comforter. <laughs> okay. I so I want you so. to give them at least a gallon every day, and you're just gonna just kind of pour it over. Make sure you have it everywhere, just like that, okay? And you'll know you're done when you hear it dripping, but at least a gallon, okay? A whole gallon a day. So make sure you get a drip from the amount you put on yep. daily? Yep, it should be dripping down there. What okay. for worm escape? For worm escape, you can just put it back, because they're going to sink to the bottom, so it's real easy to pour off the water until you get right to the very end and then pour the, the worm and a little bit of water from the bottom. Okay, then this, we have this handy little, looks like a tent from REI or something, a fancy tent. It's got this nice screen that we zip right on, and ta-da! Wow, worms look safe. We're ready! So wow, they've got a wonderful house. Very, very safe. A lovely whole, whole pound of worms. It oh, will soon be more. Hmm? Did you see how many worms they had? Did you look at that? Unbelievable. You lift the top and there's like a million worms in there. Yeah. So if the preschool class can do it, I think second graders should have no trouble at all. The difference is, is that you guys are going to be collecting your own food. Whereas at preschool, the teacher does it. So this is a big responsibility for you. So you have to determine every day at lunch what's worm food that you don't want. Okay, and then you've got, you've got your little bucket and you'll fill it up. You have a refrigerator to keep it in. So we'll fill it up. At the end of the week, we'll feed, and if we fill it up soon, sooner, that's okay, because we'll take what's left over at the separation station, as usual. And if you need a little extra, we can always help you out with that, because we've got tons of food waste at five schools where we do this. So we can always borrow a little bit from um, KIS or um, Enchanted Lake or Kaohau. Because okay, everybody's got worms and we all make a lot of food waste. So this is a great way to get rid of it. So Anybody have any questions?